Today I'm going to show you how to upload your lesson plans in Google Drive in the CCS shared folder. Now first you need to be in Google Drive. So you can search for Google Drive, you can click down on a Google Waffle if you're on a Google page, and it'll bring down the Google Apps and you can click on Drive and it'll bring you to a page that looks similar to this. It might look a little bit different depending on your settings, but here you can see all my different folders that I created or folders that were created for me from Google Classroom. Now what I want to look for is called CCS Shared Folder. Now as you can see, there's none here that actually says CCS Shared Folder. So I have to actually search for it, find it, and add it to my drive and then I'll be able to upload my lesson plans. Now if you are a brand new teacher to CCS, you probably won't be able to just search CCS Shared Folders. If it if it's not working for you, that means an IT administrator needs to send you a personal link that you click on in order to add it to your drive. But that's only if you do not find it after completing some of these steps that I talk about here. So if you're still having difficulty, please come find me or talk with one of the IT administrators. But let's first see if you can actually find it using the search. So if you go up at the top and type in CCS Shared Folders, it should populate here and you can just click on that or you can search for the whole thing and you'll see here that there is a folder called CCS Shared Folders. Now I can click on that and go into it and then upload my lesson plans but I'll have to do that every single time and you probably don't want to waste your time going to the search bar typing in shared folders and doing all that clicking. So the best thing that you can do is actually add this folder to your own Google Drive and the way that you can do that is just right click on that folder and you will see that these options appear and there's an option here that says add to my drive. Now another way you can do that is if you're are on this and you just click once just so you can click on it and it's highlighted you can see in the upper right hand side there's an add to my drive button either way works so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that button and it's working and it said add it to my drive alright and I can organize it now if you go back to your main drive you click on the left hand side you'll now see that this shared folder is in here and I can access it and you could also change the color of it if you so choose by going down to change color and change it to whatever you want. I like doing that because I want it to be visual because that's one that I use often. So I like to organize that one with a different color. So now to upload your lesson plans, you want to actually get into the folder and then you'll see a subfolder called academic. You want to click on that and depending on where you teach you're going to click on the corresponding folder. So I teach in the high school so I'll click on high school academics. Now from there you're going to see class documents, library, shared resources and two different lesson plan folders. Click on the right year so 2018-19 and it'll bring up all the teachers. So what you want to do is click on your name and it'll bring up your uh, folder. So for me I'll click on Krauser and it'll bring up. Now I created the September folder and the because when you go into it it's probably going to be blank unless you've already started uploading stuff. I like to organize it as best I can so I create each month and to do that all you have to do is hit right click in the white space new folder and then I can name it October and create and it'll create that. So this way I can find my plans easier and whoever is looking at them can also find them easier. Now to upload my plans I would go into the corresponding month and then I also created more folders for each class. Now you don't have to do that, I prefer to. So I created a folder for each one of the classes I teach and then if I go into the class you'll see that here are my lesson plans which are dated and abbreviated the way that I like it. In order to upload a lesson plan, all you have to do is right click again, upload file, and you can upload any file straight from your computer. Or if it's already in your Google Drive, you can upload the file straight from Google Drive. Because if you're in a Google Doc, say, and you want to put it and organize it straight into your CCS shared folder under your proper name, you can do that by going into the settings here and looking for this folder and hit move to up at the top and then it's already in here but if it wasn't it'll bring me all the way out to the CCS shared folder and I just look for my name and follow the prompts that way 
and then it hit move to when I'm ready. So I'm not going to do that because it's already in here. But that is how you're going to upload your lessons. Now, some of you might not want to do all that. Maybe you don't want to add each month in each class. You just want to upload your lessons. As far as I know, that's completely fine. So for instance, let's say if I go into uh, one of the other teacher's folders, it's probably going to be blank right now. So see, it's absolutely blank. So if you wanted to, you can just drop the files right in here, hit the new button or right click. You could create a new folder so that you have a subfolder, or you could upload different files or drag your Google Docs or Google Slides or whatever you have straight into that. So it's pretty easy. You just have to make sure you find the CCS shared folder, click on academic, then go to high school or middle school or elementary school, lesson plans, find your name, and then you're able to upload them straight from there.